It's at the Geneva International Motor Show. Daimler is showcasing two models at the very top end of the price spectrum, the AMG GT3 Track Racer and the new Maybach, a super long version of its flagship limousine that costs almost $600,000. Bloomberg's Eric Schasker spoke with Daimler Group Chairman Dieter Zetsche at the event and began by asking about plans for a Daimler expansion. Well, obviously, we focus on our core business, but within that core business, we are expanding in all directions, whether it's high luxury cars, whether it's entry level in the premium segment, um, from smart to uh, the, the Pullman limousine. Uh, we are everywhere, and with that expansion, we see great sales result coming to us. Dr. Zetcha, have your development priorities changed at all with the drop in oil prices? No, we are long-term thinkers. We do not change our strategy based on uh, the monthly uh, oil prices. Um, we are clearly continuing our drive for more and more fuel efficiency, um, and uh, we offer smaller cars as well, but we maintain our strength in the large cars, so nothing has changed in this regard. <laughs> so what would you say then are your priorities in terms of technologies? Which technologies are most important to Daimler, which are going to be the most transformative over the next next five years? Well, first of all, we continuously strive for emission-free driving and for accident-free driving. Um, and in this context, uh, clearly the plug-in hybrids on the one hand are an important technology. On the other hand, assist systems leading ultimately to autonomous cars, uh, including the connected car, are the other very important element. Uh, leading to more safety as well. So we are very consistent in our uh, development and we think we kind of lead the industry in these technologies. What is the status right now of your work with Tesla? Um, as you know, we have uh, pursued um, two major projects with them, uh, one being the smart electric drive, the other one being the B-class electric drive. Parallel to that, uh, we were somewhat involved in the development of the Model S. Uh, on top of that, we had a share, a stake in the company, uh, which we sold most recently. That was a pure financial consideration. We continue to work together with Tesla. And what do you expect out of that partnership in the future? Is Mercedes going to be a customer for batteries out of the Gigafactory, or is there more than that? Well, um, I don't expect us to be customers of the Gigafactory as we are pursuing different directions as far as battery technology is concerned. Um, for the time being, um, Tesla will be a supplier to us for the B-Class powertrain. Uh, and if there are further projects, uh, we will see how that will develop. Is, is, tell me, is Elon Musk making a mistake, in your opinion, by focusing on battery cost as opposed to battery technology? Well, we certainly need both, uh, but we definitely will see a next generation of battery technology. Whether this is in three years, five years, seven years, we can't tell. But there will be a next stage with higher energy density, with lower cost. Uh, and that's what we are all working on. And then we will see even more efficient uh, battery electric vehicles not based on today's uh, lithium iron technology. Dr. Zetcher, you know there's so much interest and focus on uh, SUVs. People keep asking you if you're going to build a Maybach SUV. I have a different question. How long until Mercedes overhauls the M-Class? Uh, well, actually, uh, within these days, actually at the New York Auto Show, uh, we will show a facelift to the M-Class, which is now called GLE. Um, and you get already some idea about the looks of this um, overhauled, if you want, um, GLE or M-Class, uh, by looking at the GLE Coupe, uh, which is based on this facelifted um, M-Class, form M-Class, now GLE. I was thinking more specifically about the M350, ML350, for example, which is sort of the flagship SUV for your company. Uh, I mean, this one definitely... We were selling all the time at capacity out of Tuscaloosa. Uh, we are now adding capacity. So uh, with that uh, main volume um, out of the 350, uh, we continue uh, to expand and grow our overall SUV business in that segment.